Dear students, in the previous session, you have studied about the transition metals with respect to magnetic properties, catalytic properties, colored ions, interstitial compounds, alloys, metal oxides, metal oxoanions and the two important compounds potassium dichromate and potassium permanganate. Today, you will study about the inner transition elements that is the F block elements also known as the lanthanides and actinides with respect to electronic configuration, atomic and ionic sizes, oxidation states, general characteristics and the comparison between the lanthanides and actinides. Application of the D and F block elements. After studying this module, the learners will be able to write the electronic configuration of the inner transition that is F block elements and their ions. Explain the general characteristic of the F block elements that is lanthanoids and actinoids and the general horizontal and the group trends in them. Describe the properties of the F block elements and give a comparative account of the lanthanoids and actinoids with respect to their electronic configurations, oxidation states and the chemical behavior. So, let us begin with the shape of the f orbitals and the position of the inner transition f block elements in the periodic table. The figure shows you the shapes of the f orbitals. An f orbital can accommodate 14 electrons. This means f block series can be said to include the 14 elements. You can see in the figure the f block is at the bottom of the periodic table. There are two series 4f series and 5f series. The f block consists of the two series the lanthanoids the 14 elements following lanthanum and the actinides the 14 elements following actinium. Because lanthanum closely resembles the lanthanides it is usually included in the discussion of the lanthanides for which the general symbol is Ln is often used. Similarly, a discussion of the actinides includes actinium besides the 14 elements constituting the series. The lanthanides resemble one another more closely than do the members of the ordinary transition elements in any series. They have only one stable oxidation state and their chemistry provides an excellent opportunity to examine the effect of small changes in the size and the nuclear charge along a series of otherwise similar elements. Due to lanthanoid contraction, the lanthanides are split into light and heavy lanthanide enriched minerals. Therefore, light lanthanides are usually found in the earth's crust but more of the heavy members in the earth's mantle. The graph shows you the relative abundance of the lanthanides. The chemistry of the actinides is on the other hand much more complicated. The complication arises partly owing to the occurrence of a wide range of oxidation states in these elements and partly because their radioactivity creates special problems in their study. The two series will be considered separately here. The names, symbols, electronic configurations of atomic and some ionic states and the atomic and the ionic radii of the lanthanum and lanthanides for which the general symbol Ln is used are given in the table. These elements have an incomplete f orbital of the anti penultimate shell that is inner to the penultimate shell in addition to the incomplete d orbital of the penultimate shell. The table shows you the electronic configurations and the radii of lanthanum and lanthanides. Only electrons outside the xenon core are shown and indicated. Electronic configuration. General electronic configuration of f block elements is n minus 2 f with 1 to 14 electrons, 
n minus 1 d 0 to 1 electrons n s 2. The lanthanides with the inner core of xenon, core of xenon 4 f 1 to 14, 5 d 0 to 1, 6 s 2. All the lanthanides have electronic configuration with 6 s 2 common, but with the variable occupancy of 4 f level in their atoms. However, the electronic configuration of all the tripositive ions, which is the most stable oxidation state of all the lanthanides is of the form 4 f n, where n is equals to 1 to 14, with the increasing atomic number. Atomic and the ionic sizes. The overall decrease in the atomic and the ionic radii from lanthanum to lutetium that is known as the lanthanide contraction is a unique feature in the chemistry of the lanthanides. It has far reaching consequences in the chemistry of the third transition series of the elements. The decrease in the atomic radii derived from the structures of the metal is not quite regular while decrease in the ionic radii of M3 plus ion is regular. This contraction is of course similar to that observed in an ordinary transition series and is attributed to the same cause, the imperfect shielding of one electron by another in the same subshell. However, the shielding of one 4 of electron by another is less than one d electron by another with the increase in the nuclear charge along the series there is fairly regular decrease in the sizes with increasing atomic number. The graph shows the comparison of the metal radius and the ionic radius in the plus 3 state of the lanthanides. You can clearly see that there is a steady decrease in the ionic radii. The cumulative effect of the contraction of the lanthanide series is known as the lanthanide contraction. It causes the radii of the members of the third transition series to be very similar to those of the corresponding members of the second series. The almost identical radii of zirconium that is 160 picometer and hafnium that is 159 picometer, a consequence of the lanthanoid contraction account for their occurrence together in the nature and for the difficulty faced in the separation. Oxidation states. The possible stable oxidation states of the lanthanides are tabulated in the table. In the lanthanoids, lanthanum with the plus 3 oxidation state and ln in plus 3 state compounds are predominant species. However, occasionally plus 2 and plus 4 ions in the solutions or in the solid compounds are also obtained. This irregularity as in the ionization enthalpies arises mainly from the extra stability of empty, half filled or the filled F subshell. Thus, the formation of the cerium ion in the plus 4 state is favored by its noble gas configuration but it is a strong oxidant reverting to the common plus 3 state and it is a frequently asked question. The electrode potential value for the cerium 4 plus ion to cerium plus 3 is plus 1.74 volts which suggests that it can oxidize water. However, the reaction rate is very slow and hence cerium in plus 4 state is a good analytical reagent. Cerium, protoactinium, neodymium, terbium and dysprosium also exhibit plus 4 state but only in the oxide of the type MO2. Europium in 2 plus is formed by losing the 2 S electrons and its F7 configuration accounts for the formation of this ion. However, europium in plus 2 state is a strong reducing agent changing to the common plus 3 state. Similarly, ytterbium in plus 2 state which has F14 configuration is a reductant. Terbium in plus 4 state has half filled F orbitals and is an 
antioxidant. The behavior of samarium is very much like europium exhibiting both plus 2 and plus 3 oxidation state. Again it is a frequently asked question. Now the general characteristics. The physical state all the lanthanides are silvery white soft metals and they tarnish rapidly in air. The figure shows you few lanthanides. The hardness increases with the increasing atomic number. Samarium being steel hard. Their melting points vary between 1000 to 1200 Kelvin but samarium melts at 1623 Kelvin. They have typical metallic structure and are good conductors of heat and electricity. Density and the other properties change smoothly except for europium and ytterbium and occasionally for samarium and thulium. The color and the magnetic property. Many trivalent lanthanide ions are colored both in the solid state and in the aqueous solutions. The color of the lanthanoids are shown in the figure. The color of these ions may be attributed to the excitation of the F electrons on absorption of light in the visible region. Neither lanthanum in 3 plus state nor lutetium in 3 plus state ions show any color but the rest do so. However, absorption bands are narrow probably because of the excitation within the F level. Now let us study about the magnetic behavior. The lanthanide ions other than F0 type that is lanthanum with 3 plus oxidation state and cerium plus 4 oxidation state and the F14 type ytterbium and lutetium are all paramagnetic. The paramagnetism rises to a maximum in neodymium. The orbital motions of the electrons in the lanthanides are not quenched so both spin and the orbital angular momentum contribute towards the magnetic moment mu. This is in contrast to the metal ions of the first transition series where spin only formula is used. Ionization enthalpy. The first ionization enthalpies of the lanthanides are around 600 kilojoules per mole and the second about 1200 kilojoules per mole comparable with those of calcium. A detailed discussion of the variation of the third ionization enthalpies indicate that the exchange enthalpy considerations as in 3D orbitals of the first transition series appear to impart a certain degree of stability to empty, half filled and completely filled orbitals of the F level. This is indicated from the abnormally low value of the third ionization enthalpy of lanthanum, gadolinium and lutetium. Now the chemical reactivity. In their chemical behavior in general the earlier members of the series are quite reactive similar to calcium but with increasing atomic number they behave more like aluminium. The values of the standard reduction potentials for the half reaction. The reduction potential of lanthanum 3 plus state to lanthanum are in the range of minus 2.2 to minus 2.4 volts except for europium for which the value is minus 2.0 volts. This is of course a small variation. The metals combine with the hydrogen when gently heated in the gas. The carbides LN3C, LN2C3 type and LNC2 are formed when the metals are heated with carbon. They liberate hydrogen from the dilute acids and they burn in halogens to form halides. They form oxides of the type M2O3 and hydroxides MOH whole thrice. The figure shows you the rare earth metal oxides. The hydroxides are the definite compounds not just hydrated oxides. They are basic like alkaline earth metal oxides and hydroxides. The picture shows you the sample of the lanthanide nitrates. Their general reactions are depicted in the figure. The figure shows you all the possible chemical reactions shown by lanthanides like they react with the acids and they release hydrogen gas. With halogen they form halides of the type LNX2. 
with sulfur the sulfides with nitrogen lanthanides form lanthanide nitrides and with the carbon the carbides of the type lnc2 the figure shows you the chemical reactions of the lanthanides uses the best single use of the lanthanides is for the production of the alloy steels for the plates and the pipes a well known alloy is mishk metal which consists of a lanthanide metal that is 95% and the iron only 5% and the traces of sulfur carbon calcium and aluminum a good deal of mishk metal is used in magnesium based alloy to produce bullets shell and the lighter flint the mishk metal is shown in the figure mixed oxides of the lanthanides are employed as the catalyst in the petroleum cracking some individual lanthanide oxides are used as phosphors in the television screens and similar fluorescing surfaces now let's study about the actinides the actinoid series derives its name from the first element in the series actinium the layout of the periodic table in the figure shows you the position of the actinoids it's at the bottom below the lanthanides the actinides include the 14 elements from thorium to laurentium the names symbols and some properties of these elements are given in the table the actinides are radioactive elements and the earlier members have relatively long half lives the later ones have half life values ranging from a day to 3 minutes for laurentium that is atomic number z is equals to 103 the later members could be prepared only in the nanogram quantities these facts render their study more difficult the table shows you the electronic configurations and the radii of the actinium and actinides let me show you the photographs of the few scientists who have contributed in the discovery of the elements in the actinide series the johns jacob berzelius who discovered thorium atomic number 90 between 1944 and 1958 seberg identified eight elements americium 95 americium atomic number 95 curium atomic number 96 berkelium atomic number 97 californium atomic number 98 einsteinium atomic number 99 fermium atomic number 100 mendelevium atomic number 101 and nobelium atomic number 102 the element 106 seborgium bears his name in 1951 seborg shared the nobel prize in chemistry albert einstein discovered einsteinium it's a synthetic element with symbol es and atomic number 99 it is the seventh transuranic element and an actinide einsteinium was discovered as a component of the debris of the first hydrogen bomb explosion in 1952 and named after albert einstein now let's discuss the properties of the actinides electronic configuration all the actinides are believed to have the electronic configuration of 7s2 and variable occupancy of the 5f and 60 subshells the general electronic configuration of f block elements is n minus 2 f 1 to 14 electrons n minus 1 d 0 to 1 electron and ns2 actinide with the inner core of radon 5f 1 to 14 6 d 0 to 1 7 s 2 the 14 electrons are formally added to 5 f though not in thorium with atomic number 90 but from proto actinium onwards the 5 f orbitals are complete at element with atomic number 103 the irregularities in the electronic configurations of the actinides like those in the lanthanides are related to the stabilities of the f0 f7 and f14 occupancies of the 5f orbitals 
Thus, the configurations of americium and curium are with the inner core of radon 5 f 7 7 s 2 and radon 5 f 7 6 d 1 7 s 2. All the 5 f orbitals resemble the 4 f orbitals in their angular part of the wave function. They are not as buried as 4 f orbitals and hence the 5 f electrons can participate in bonding to a far greater extent. Ionic sizes. The general trend of lanthanides is observable in the actinides as well. There is a gradual decrease in the size of the atoms or M3 plus ions across the series. This may be referred to as the actinide contraction just like lanthanide contraction. The contraction is however greater from the element to element in this series resulting from the poorer shielding effect by 5 f electrons. Oxidation states. There is a greater range of the oxidation states which is in part attributed to the fact that the 5 f, 6 d and the 7 s levels are of the comparable energies. The known oxidation states of the actinides are listed in the table. The oxidation states of actinium and actinides. The actinides show in the general plus 3 oxidation state. The elements in the first half of the series frequently exhibit higher oxidation state. For example, the maximum oxidation state increases from plus 4 in thorium to plus 5, plus 6 and plus 7 respectively in protoactinium, uranium and neptunium but decrease in the succeeding elements. The actinides resemble the lanthanides in having more compounds in the plus 3 state than in the plus 4 state. However, plus 3 and the plus 4 ions tend to hydrolyze. Because the distribution of the oxidation states among the actinides is so uneven and so different for the former and the later elements, it is unsatisfactory to review their chemistry in terms of the oxidation states. Now, let me show some pictures of the different actinides in the variable oxidation states. Uranium in plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6 oxidation state. Neptunium in plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6 and plus 7 oxidation state. Plutonium in plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6 and plus 7 oxidation state. Now, the general characteristics and the comparison with the lanthanoids. The physical state. The actinoid metals are all silvery in appearance but display a variety of structures. The structural variability is obtained due to irregularities in the metallic radii which are far greater than in the lanthanoids. Let me show you the picture of few actinoids. It is berkelium, a very small sample of a blue liquid in a plastic pipette held by a hand. It is a transuranic radioactive chemical element with the symbol BK and the atomic number 97. It is a member of the actinoid. Californium. It is a glowing cylinder of the plutonium oxide standing in a circular pit. Plutonium is a radioactive chemical element with symbol Pu and atomic number 94. It is an actinide metal of silver grey appearance that tarnishes when exposed to air and forms a dull coating when oxidized. Chemical reactivity. The actinoids are highly reactive metals especially when finally divided. The action of the boiling water in them for example gives a mixture of oxide and hydride with most non-metals takes place at moderate temperatures. Hydrochloric acid attack all metals but most are slightly affected by nitric acid owing to the formation of the protective oxide layers. Alkalis have no action. Now, let us study about the magnetic properties. The magnetic properties of the actinides are more complex than those of the lanthanides. 
although the variation in the magnetic susceptibility of the actinides with the number of the unpaired 5f electrons is roughly parallel to the corresponding results for the lanthanides. The later have the higher values. Ionization enthalpy. It is evident from the behavior of the actinoids that the ionization enthalpies of the early actinoids though not accurately known, but are lower than than for the early lanthanides. This is quite reasonable since it is to be expected that when 5f orbitals are beginning to be occupied, they will penetrate less into the inner core of electrons. The 5f electrons will therefore be more effectively shielded from the nuclear charge than the 4f electrons of the corresponding lanthanoids. Because the outer electrons are less firmly held, they are available for bonding in the actinoids. Now let us compare the actinoids and the lanthanoids. So actinoids versus lanthanoids. A comparison of the actinoids with the lanthanoids with respect to the different characteristics as discussed above reveals that behavior similar to that of the lanthanoids is not evident until the second half of the actinoid series. However, even the early actinoids resemble the lanthanoids in showing close similarities with each other and in gradual variation in properties which do not entail change in the oxidation state. The lanthanoid and actinoid contractions have extended effects on the sizes and therefore the properties of the elements succeeding them in their respective periods. The lanthanoid contraction is more important because the chemistry of the elements succeeding the actinoids are much less known at the present time. Applications of the D and F block elements. Iron and steel are the most important construction materials. Their production is based on the reduction of the iron oxides. The removal of the impurities and the addition of the carbon and alloying the metals such as chromium, manganese and nickel. Some compounds are manufactured for the special purposes such as titanium oxide for the pigment industry and manganese oxide for the use in the dry battery cells. The battery industry also requires zinc and nickel cadmium combination. As coinage metal, the elements of the group 11 are still worthy of being called the coinage metals. Although silver and gold are restricted to collection items and the contemporary UK copper coins are copper coated steel. The silver UK coins are a copper nickel alloy. As catalyst, many of the metals and their compounds are essential catalysts in the chemical industry. Vanadium pentoxide catalyzes the oxidation step of sulfur dioxide in the manufacture of sulfuric acid. Titanium tetrachloride with trimethyl aluminium forms the basis of the Ziegler catalyst used to manufacture polyethylene or the polythene. The iron catalysts are used in the Haber's process for the production of ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen mixtures. The nickel catalyst enable the hydrogenation of the fats to proceed. In the vacuous process, the oxidation of ethane to ethanol is catalyzed by palladium chloride. Polymerization of alkynes. The nickel complexes are useful in the polymerization of the alkynes and other organic compounds such as benzene. Photographic industry. The photographic industry relies on the special light sensitive properties of silver bromide. Now let us summarize what we have studied today. In this module, we have learnt about the two series of the inner transition elements, lanthanides and actinides which constitute the F block of the periodic table. With the successive filling of the inner orbitals 4f, there is a gradual decrease in the atomic and the ionic sizes of these metals along the series, the lanthanoid contraction. This has far reaching consequences in the chemistry of the elements succeeding them. The lanthanum and all the lanthanides are rather soft 
white metals. They react easily with the water to give solutions giving plus 3 ions. The principal oxidation state is plus 3, although plus 4 and plus 2 oxidation states are also exhibited by some occasionally. The chemistry of the actinides is more complex in view of their ability to exist in the different oxidation states. Furthermore, many of the actinoid elements are radioactive which make the study of these elements rather difficult. Also, we learn that there are many useful applications of D and F block elements and their compounds, notable among them being in the varieties of the steels, catalyst, complexes, organic synthesis, etc. Dear students, I hope after this session you all will be able to locate lanthanides and actinides in the periodic table. You all know their position in the periodic table. You can write the electronic configuration explain why there is a steady decrease in their ionic radii and about their oxidation states and chemical reactivity. Also, now you know the areas where they are used. Thank you.